one of the things that was unusual this time in MedTech Innovator. It's the first time this has happened, but uh, Richard's mentor, who you saw in the video, I think, before, was so excited about the technology that she joined the company. So uh, that's a really amazing endorsement for the company, and you're going to hear all about it now. Here you go, Richard. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. It's an honor to be amongst this group. Um, afternoon, everyone. The opioid epidemic is the biggest crisis in American healthcare. More than 72,000 deaths because of opioids in 2017 alone. <clears throat> the problem with opioids is they just mask pain, leaving your body in fight flight. No rest, no recovery, just temporary relief of pain. So how do I know about this stuff? Well, this is me in Yemen in uh, 1992 near the capital Sana. Just after this photograph was taken, I was forced to drive that Jeep off a bridge, resulting in spinal injuries and a nerve damage pain problem that was so severe I was given a five-year life expectancy. Like many people, I was given very large amounts of opioids, and very quickly, they stopped having an effect. So I was left with two choices, carrying on popping pills until they kill me, or find a better way. This is what led me to SANA, a fundamentally new way of looking at pain management that is drug-free, addiction-free, and risk-free. SANA wiped out all of my nerve damage pain and I have been pain-free since 1993. SANA works by using patented algorithms of pulsed light and sound and a feedback mechanism that guides the user into a deep state of relaxation. This lessens pain and improves sleep. The first mechanism of action of how SANA works is it restores hemispheric balance. Here you can see the EEG of a chronic pain patient who was suffering from also from traumatic brain injury, a notoriously difficult thing to treat. You can see in the after EEG that the balance between the two sides of his brain has been restored. Um, the second part of the cycle is SANA then breaks that pain cycle by getting the user out of fight flight into rest and recovery. This means less pain in less than 10 minutes. Here is Hattie, one of our earliest users, um, who had chronic regional pain syndrome. Before using SANA, the pain in her arms was so severe that she couldn't bear the lightest touch, and her pain levels kept her out of school. On the very first time she used SANA, she cried in relief because she was able to touch her arms without pain for the first time in three years. She was also able to go back to school. We just completed a placebo-controlled study with Stanford and Special Operations Command. We achieved 2x increase in relaxation, a 3x reduction in pain, and a 5x improvement in heart rate variability, which measures recovery and sleep. We've just raised four million to take us through FDA. We've been, we're evaluating currently um, requests to do clinical trials with 30 different clinical partners. And in the last few months, we've won the Under Armour Innovation Award, the Self Care Award from Bayer, and the Mount Sinai Rehab Challenge. We're now collaborating with all those three partners. With Mount Sinai, we're due to start our FDA trial in uh, Mount Sinai in November. And here is our PI. We're very lucky to have Dr. David Petrino, one of the world's experts on the neuromodulation and pain, as our PI. And as you can see, he's excited to work with us too. Uh, trial endpoints, standard subjective endpoints for pain studies, plus objective endpoints, which will show us the long-term biological effects of using SANA. Uh, the FDA rang us last week and actually invited us in for our pre-sub meeting two weeks early than currently scheduled, uh, and they've asked us to uh, apply for the API challenge, which will give us breakthrough status. Uh, we're very lucky to have um, a very good cross-functional team to not only build the device, but bring it to life. Um, SANA saved my life. It's helped many people like Hattie already. Over a thousand people have used SANA. Since we've been sitting here, 12 more people will have died from opioids. Imagine a world where this doesn't have to happen. Please join us in making that happen. Please vote for Sana. Thank you. Richard, um, how does this fit 
FDA's criteria for their opioid challenge? That's a very good question, thank you. So the, AP, the FDA is looking for three things. They're looking for devices that will stop people having to use opioids in the first place, reduce opioid consumption of people who are using opioids, and also help people get off opioids who are addicted. And hopefully we will fit all three categories for them. Uh, could you talk a little bit about additional clinical trials that you hope to undergo for other indications, expansion of label, et cetera? Thank you for that, yes. Um, so the first one will be um, opioid reduction, um, sorry, opioid withdrawal symptom reduction. Um, we're also looking at fibromyalgia, stroke, um, TBI, PTSD, basically anywhere where there's a benefit from taking someone from fright flight into rest and recovery. There's almost no area of mental health where the device doesn't have an impact. We're just trying to pick the ones that closest fit our distribution model at the moment. Congratulations. So how does this drastically different approach you're taking to pain management fit a regulatory or reimbursement strategy? Um, thank you for asking that. The, there are current reimbursement codes which we can plug into um, due to our ability to allow a physician to actually access uh, patient data on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, it's also, we're looking at a cost that is so low that we're looking at out-of-pocket. Um, the current reimbursement um, is minimum out-of-pocket is 4,000 a year approximately, and we're looking at a subscription of around about $30 a month. Um, but we're also looking at trying to persuade payers and insurers that this is the right thing to do. Um, and just yesterday we had a conversation with Blue Cross and they told us the health economic data is already there. Um, so all we have to prove is reducing opioids and then they will fund it. One more question. One more, yeah. One more, go sure. quick. So uh, is this a uh, prescription device, I guess? Uh, how, what it will be the go-to-market strategy for Sana? Uh, so the go-to-market starts with pain clinics and getting data within pain clinics to help hospital systems make a decision. Um, and eventually, in the long term, we hope to go direct to consumer, um, but only after a long time working through the hospital system so we get broad adoption first. Very good. Great. Congratulations. Thank you very much, everyone. Great job. Good luck. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. <laughs> so the winner of MedTech Innovator 2018 is Sana Health. Good job, Richard.